welcome back so in this video we are going to cover the demonstration what we talked about in the last video which includes the config file of course we have seen that service accounts tokens and the context all right so let's go ahead and quickly uh, see a config file before I do that I just wanted to tell you I have created one more uh, cluster here which name is demo cluster 02 so that we can see uh, both the information are stored in the config file so if I go hold on something is wrong here at my place so no 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 let me quickly check. okay it's cool it was my headphone all right so let's quickly go here and go to the dot cube folder enter do the ls you'll see config now let's cat the config and you will see all the credentials or the certificates here client key data the token you can see at the bottom and here you can see demo cluster 02 okay and you can see uh, demo cluster okay so we have both the clusters information in the same config file here so if I go ahead and CD and do Q cuddle get Luster, I did something wrong. Cube CTL get cluster. Cube CTL. Okay, yes, 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 yes. That's my bad. This information should contain config get clusters you see now you can see the two clusters demo cluster and demo cluster 02 okay and uh, let's go ahead and check the context cube cuddle config get contacts see we got the information of demo cluster demo cluster 02 all right both the clusters and the star sign shows current under current that this is the uh, current context okay or you can go ahead and check that with the help of cube ctl config current context this demo cluster 02 okay good now we can also add as i talked about if you remember there is a user their admins are the default identities or uh, created by the kubernetes cluster nothing more admin and user you can also add those as a context here for example but you need to go and opt the credentials for that for example here if i need to do it i need to do az aks get credentials resource group my habit of using tab it doesn't work here okay cube vm and the name of the cluster that is demo cluster demo cluster 02 as admin cool and now we have an admin uh, user for this kubernetes cluster and you can see it is there this information is also there in the config and if you do now kubectl get 
config don't forget the config config get context there you see the demo classes you to admin is the current context right now okay so if you understand like in the, in the current column the admin is the one which is using the config file and working on the kubernetes cluster you can say like that cool so that's how the context work now let's go ahead and talk about we see about these that and now let's talk about the service accounts to check that let's clear this out and very simple we'll go step by step kubectl get sa that's the beauty of kubernetes just follow the basic command and you would have all the information with you with the help of explain with the help of describe and things like that so if i did kubectl get sa we found one service account as default with one secret mounted to it or keep it's keeping the secret or token you can say which is used by apps or the ports for the interaction with the api server right so let's go ahead and describe it and see what is there inside it so kubectl describe sa default okay my letter b on my keyboard seems not working properly kubectl describe as a default very good now you can say this is the default essay for the default namespace there is no labels no image nothing but what we're looking for is actually the secrets and the tokens you know that's what i'm we are looking for so service account contains the tokens which is used by parts because it's mounted to the parts through the volume there is a particular path that you can see in the pods and it will be mounted there so we will remember that or we'll get we can check it again it's the default token s57h2 now or we can do that uh, after checking uh, secrets, okay. kubectl get secrets. You see, right here, this is the same as this asset token, and this secret is coming from the cluster. You, we all know that, okay. Now let's go ahead and check what all pods are running here i ran a few pods before let's see if they are running wonderful we have two pods running let's quickly go ahead and describe the pod This will help us to understand where these tokens are mounted okay if you scroll it up a little bit you'll see mounts this is where it is mounted this is the same default token right and under volume you can see right here type secret secret name default token you see that cool so this is the same token which is coming from the SA okay and this is one of the primary user type in Kubernetes is SA and let's go ahead and exact to one of the pod and see this token this will make it more clear it would be the same as we have seen okay so let's quickly get inside the pod how can we do that let's clear this out 
and do cube CDL get pod. Now do cube CDL exec hyphen it. And we need to give the name of the pod. Let's do this. Okay. And we need shell. I know this B is driving me crazy, man. Cube CDL. Okay, cool. It should work now. We are in. Okay, if I do host name, does it work? Yes, it works. We are in the pod KPSC8. Now, what we need to do, we need to cat this location. Oh, we, I think we have lost that uh, location, or I need to go ahead and grab that again. So let's uh, exit out from here and uh, we describe the port right now this is the location copy it get back to the pod and cat it hopefully this time this will work Token. Yes, there we go. So you can see it looks like uh, the same kind of key or third you can see under the secret. So this is where it is mounted, which helps uh, pods to authenticate themselves with API server and do their communication. Okay, so this is a little bit a uh, uh, demonstration on the access where we learned about the essay account, learned about the tokens, we learned about the uh, uh, context and how to check it, how, how to change it. Okay, so that's all about in this video. Uh, thank you for watching. In next video, we'll, we'll uh, definitely go ahead and talk about RBEC and Azure AD integration is in the next to next maybe. Let's see. Well, thank you for watching and you have a good day. Bye-bye.